After the circuit has been simulated, the results of the simulation can be seen directly in the board editor by pressing the Show on PCB button. Further control of the simulation heat map is done with the Power Analyzer panel and the usual commands of the editor. You can navigate through the heat map layers by toggling the active layer at the bottom of the board editor. The top drop down menu in the Power Analyzer panel is intended for selecting the current active circuit and by default focuses only on nets with found violations. Unchecking the Only Nets with Violations option will display all simulated circuits in this menu. If you have used net extensions, you can select an individual subnet and display its own heat map. The content of the panel itself depends on the currently active tab. The General tab is used for processing and reading simulation results. The Heat Map tab contains the heat map selection and the relevant settings for the selected heat map type. It is possible to choose which simulation results should be displayed using the switcher, the current density, or the voltage drop. The associated settings below will update depending on the selected heat map and help you when processing the results. Regardless of the active heat map, the power analyzer gives you the option of displaying current direction arrows showing the current flow inside your power circuits. Selecting heat map for current density allows you to switch between linear and logarithmic scale and also control of the scale range, focusing on critical areas of your PCB. Selection of voltage drop heat map gives you the ability to switch between numeric and percentage values, similarly control the range of the scale, and display regions that are at a certain threshold of a scale using the slider. This option allows you to display specific boundaries where a specific voltage value is observed, allowing you to accurately find the location with acceptable voltage drop for critical ICs. By moving the sliders or specifying values in the fields below, the voltage drop boundary is updated in the editor window. You can either add new points by clicking the Add Point button, or remove existing points by clicking the corresponding Delete icon. In the General section, the main part of the panel is taken by the Violations section, in which all found violations are presented. All violations are divided by type, and can be filtered by toggling the appropriate buttons at the top of the section. Clicking on a violation will show the specific section or element of the board that exceeds the limit. Without leaving the editor, you can localize the found violation by clicking on it. Further disabling the heat map, fixing the found violations, and running the simulation again allows you to get rid of all the errors step by step. More details on how to fix each type of violation are described in a separate video. The probe section is intended for reading values from the heat map, and can read either a specific value or the difference between two points. The reading is taken from the currently active heat map, so if you have an active current density heat map, it will read the values in amperes per millimeter squared. If the voltage drop heat map is active, it will read the values in volts or millivolts. To get a single value, press Add button. Click on the desired place on the board, and then press Escape button. To get the difference between two points, press the Add button and make two clicks at the desired locations. Then the difference between the two values will be automatically calculated and added to the table. If the value is no longer needed, it can be removed by clicking the appropriate icon. You can also take a measurement of the simulated via current values with the probe tool. Before using it, make sure that via centers are active in your snapping settings of the properties panel. Otherwise, the probe won't be able to snap on them. Hover the mouse over the via location and click once to capture a single value or twice over two vias to capture a difference value. If necessary, you can add probe values to the exported report for the current active circuit. To do this, select the desired probe in the table, and then click Add to Report. Note that the Power Analyzer will take a screenshot of the current working area at this point, so position the camera as needed. For more information about exporting the report, see the dedicated video. The Image Capture section is intended for displaying the screenshots taken of the captured values or the necessary sections of the power nets on the board. You can add your own screenshots of the current working area by using the Add button. Then they will appear in this section. Note that all screenshots will be added to the exporter report for the current active circuit. If any of the screenshots is no longer needed, you can delete them by clicking the appropriate button slash icon.